Hi guys, let's discuss about qualitative tests for carbohydrates. There are some qualitative tests for carbohydrates. Mollis test, antron test, iodine test, barfoot test, salivanov test, fehling test, benedict test, picric acid test, and bile test. Now, we are focusing on iodine test and benedict test. Benedict test is used to test for simple carbohydrates. The benedict test identifies reducing sugars, monosaccharides, and some disaccharides, which have free ketones or aldehyde functional groups. Benedict solution can be used to test for the presence of glucose in urine. Some sugars, such as glucose, are called reducing sugars because they are capable of transferring hydrogens or electrons to other compounds. A process called reduction. Reduction means gain of electrons or hydrogen. The color varies from green to dark red or brick red or rusty brown, depending on the amount of the type of sugar. See the reaction. Aldehyde from the sugar plus Benedict solution, okay, or 2Cu2 plus, or we call it as copper, to if there is sugar inside the sample, there is insoluble precipitate form or insoluble red precipitate. Complex carbohydrates such as starch do not react positive with the Benedict's test unless they are broken down through heating or digestion. Table sugar or disaccharide is a non-reducing sugar and does also not react with iodine or with the Benedict region. Interpreting the results of Benedict's test. The blue color or no change in color is 0% of reducing sugar. Next, the green color is 0.5 until 1% of reducing sugar. We call it as trace. The yellow color, 1% until 1.5% of reducing sugar, or we call it as low. The orange color is 1.5% until 2% of reducing sugar, or we call it as moderate. The last is the red color. It means more than 2% of reducing sugar, or we call it as high. For iodine test, add iodine region to a solution or directly on a sample for example bread crackers or flour a blue black color result if starch is present there are some limitation of benedict's test number one false positive result due to reaction with drugs for example penicillin isoniazid Strepsomycin, salicylates, and P as amino salicylic acid. Number two, chemicals in urine like creatine, ascorbic acid, and urate retard Benedict reaction. The exact concentration of reducing sugar can be measured. Advantages of Benedict test: number one, a simple test; number two, less time. Number three, non-toxic reagents. Number four, inexpensive. 
Number 5, both qualitative and semi-qualitative evaluation. The urine test experiment, this is extra knowledge for you. Types of diabetes, type 1. Type 1 diabetes is believed to be an autoimmune condition. This means your immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys the beta cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. The damage is permanent. Type 2 Diabetes starts out as insulin resistance. This means your body cannot use insulin efficiently, which causes your pancreas to produce more insulin until it cannot keep up with demand. Insulin production then decreases, which causes high blood sugar. Next, gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes is caused by insulin blocking hormones that are produced during pregnancy. This type of diabetes only happens during pregnancy. It is often seen in people with pre-existing pre-diabetes and a family history of diabetes. Kindly like my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.